Question two, and we're definitely not going to work all the way through this, but just to go simplify, 180 minuses and pluses and 360 pluses and minuses and 90s. Here, what we're looking to do is use our reductions. So for our reductions, we're going to need one diagram, definitely handy. Oh, nice version of it, right? And that's, of course, the cast diagram. So I would just start here, go, okay, well, not I would, I am. This is me solving it. This is what I do. And go, okay, C, A, S, T. Let's get that for reference. What do we need to remember for these again? Oh, yeah. So if things are 180 plus or minus, then it's going to stay a sign. So that's going to stay a sign, and let's just see, is it going to be positive or negative? Same thing for this. We know that it's going to stay tan, and let's just work out if it's positive or negative from the quadrant. The cos negative x, we can add 360, and then it's a positive angle. So if we want to, we can just go plus 360, then it's 360 minus x. So you know where that is. So then just work out positive or negative. And um, sine 180 plus, well, that's going to be a similar thing, which quadrant. And then the 90 minus, that's the only one to really just think about to go, ah, how did 90 minus work again? Well, cos, remember, cos changes to sine. And so it'll be sine x, and then we need to work out, is it positive or negative? Well, which quadrant is 90 minus x sitting in, and that was just like our freestanding triangle to go, well, if that one's x, then that one's 90 minus x. So it's still positive, just changes from cos to sine. And, but the other way is just look in the Cartesian plane, 90 minus, and there it is. So it's going to be a bit of a slog to get there, um, but yeah, that's one really, one concept that you've got. Bang, another five marks in the bag. Love it.